So welcome to the, uh, the, the very first uh, user group that, that we have here in Calgary. Uh, we're looking for this to be very, very successful, uh, share best practices. We have uh, an agenda here. I'll just uh, quickly put this up, but not spend a lot of time on it. And so I know we want to get to the to the drinks at the end and, uh, and the networking, which is the, the most important part of this, this whole thing is, is the networking. So a little introduction. So. Um, uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about uh, the, the leaders and the co-leaders and we have uh, Aaron Roden as our, our CSM here helping out who was instrumental to uh, kicking this, this whole, whole group off. So I'm the, uh, the, the group leader, I call myself the, uh, the cloud evangelist organizer because I'm going to organize what you guys want to do. <coughs> so I'm with Shaw Business, I'm the product analyst. I, I manage over 400 users uh, within, within our group. Uh, I have been using Salesforce for about four years now. Of the past uh, two and a half years, it's been full time um, with, with Shaw. And it really all started with um, four different orgs within, within Shaw. So we got uh, Shaw Business, uh, we have uh, Shaw Bulk, uh, Shaw Direct, uh, represented here by, by Nolan, um, and uh, the, uh, the, the vehicle, uh, vehicle tracking as well. So we started a chatter group there, and, and really it's grown out of from, from a single chatter group to, well, let's expand it out to, to all the rest of you as well. I also support a, a non-profit organization, uh, Community Center, so we're just, uh, we're just starting out there as well. And my responsibilities for this group is, is going to be uh, event uh, uh, meeting and, and organizing. And a fun fact uh, is I, I enjoy camping and I love running off mountain cliffs and uh, with a paraglider. So. Uh, we have uh, Jason here, so uh, he's going to be uh, looking after uh, the responsibilities of, of our, our program category. So he's brand new to Salesforce. Uh, he's currently undergoing the uh, 201 certification uh, uh, direction. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's the idea guy. If he doesn't come to me with an idea every day, there's, there's something wrong with, with, with him. Uh, because he's always coming up with these great, unique ideas which he'll fit in perfectly in, into this uh, sales, uh, or this uh, users group. So he'll be <coughs> responsible for <coughs> the mentoring program, and I'll talk a little bit about that a little later. The internship, the hands-on training, and Cloudforce, one of his latest uh, ideas and too new to discuss here but we'll send you a, a newsletter about it later. <coughs> we have another individual who's also helping us out. <coughs> He's out of our Vancouver office, uh, Farron Thauer, and uh, I, I dubbed him the uh, developer extraordinaire. He's, uh, he's a really fantastic programmer, um, brand new to Salesforce as well. Uh, we introduced him to, to Salesforce uh, two, three months ago. We took him on an Apex course, and he's really dug in and, and is enjoying the, uh, the application. <coughs> he's going to do a, a number of really unique things for us. We've given him the responsibility of this group to, uh, to organize the, uh, the monthly newsletter and, and also the website. I don't know, who, who's seen the website so far? Anybody? Seen our website, sfdcyyc.com? No? Okay. We'll, we'll show you that a little bit later as well. So if you want any more information on us uh, off the website, um, the, the learn more under the About Us, uh, jump in there and, uh, and take a look. We have uh, several paragraphs each, uh, more in depth about uh, you know, our capabilities. So our collective uh, responsibilities uh, is, is really to take direction from this group here. Um, you guys are the ones that are going to be directing where we want to go with this group. And, and our responsibility here is pretty simple. It's, it's to drive that bus down the road where you want us to go. Okay, and what, what, we, what we'll be doing is through surveys, sending you out surveys, asking you, you know, pointed questions, and based on the results of those surveys, um, uh, we'll take this group where, where it's interested for you, okay? Uh, with that said, uh, Salesforce has sponsored this, uh, uh, this room for us, so thank you Salesforce for allowing this uh, group to meet here today. And also, uh, we have uh, Traction On Demand, they're our, our second sponsor and they'll be providing uh, drinks at the end of this uh, for our networking session. And I think s either Greg Melpas is, is here, he's going to step up. 
Ta-da! There he is. Okay, so he wants to say a few words about, uh, about traction. Um, the theme of our meetings is going to be sponsored by a partner and they'll probably be providing you know, the, the funding for our rooms that we're going to meet in, um, you know, door prizes, uh, uh, food, drinks, and, and, and things like that. So, I'll let that time. Sorry I'm late. I was selling. <laughs> um, yeah, Greg is actually off at another event. I'm Chris Peacock, Director of Business Development at Traction. Uh, just a quick introduction on Traction. We're a, a platinum partner of Salesforce.com, uh, one of 19 in North America. Uh, we're the largest um, partner in Canada. Uh, we work with Salesforce on kind of three different levels. Uh, the first one is we're a partner and we implement their, their product and enhance their product. Second one is we actually work for Salesforce.com themselves. So we do uh, uh, data management, application development in their own work. And then the third one is we work as uh, Salesforce.com. So we'll actually do um, uh, outsourced data management projects for data.com offering. Um, enough about kind of me and Traction. If you want to talk to talk to us a little bit more about who we are, come see me after. One thing I wanted to mention is just kind of our own kind of growth in using Salesforce.com is a business that in three years has gone from three to 53 people. Um, and how we pulled in different processes from, at first it was a sales CRM tool for managing pipeline. Um, as that grew up, we, we and, and more and more people started to come on, we started managing projects on there. We now use a platform for a full HR recruiting tool. Uh, our, our next initiative is portal licenses and, and starting to pull in our customers and letting, letting our customers engage with the data that we're starting to capture themselves. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting ride and it's, uh, it's, it's interesting when we speak to customers and kind of see how they're, using the, how they're using the platform, how they're adopting the platform, which is like a number one concern. If you're buying licenses on any tool or, or paying one penny to have anyone implement something, sure as heck want to make sure they're using it. So we're seeing that one of the biggest challenges with people is is actually change management and, and I mean bringing in a new tool, a new system, a new process. Um, so we're actually building out a bit more of a, a, of a training. We've hired a couple of coaches that know nothing about technology and they're, they're learning very fast because we're throwing them into the customer success team and saying you have to spend months learning the platform, learning what we're doing so you can actually put yourself in the shoes of the people who you're going to try and change and have adopt. Uh, we have customers that we go in and, and we're rolling out to new sales group and we think this is going to be all about process and that and we get the question, what is the browser? Is that like, is this like on my iPhone or, and they have these, they have these tools and, and we're answering really simple questions to groups that are really advanced in that. So, so adoption. I'm going to uh, kind of cut myself off here. I can ramble on for hours, but if anyone wants to talk to me after. Uh, and thanks again to, to the group here for having us in today and, uh, and to Salesforce for putting on the event today. Okay, the, uh, the, the vision of uh, our group, uh, um, subject to change based on your guys' direction, but uh, we're, we're going to start out, we're going to be focusing on networking and, and advancing the knowledge and skills of the, and the careers of its members, so, so you guys. Um, through our website, Chatter, Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and regular meetings, we're looking at you know, four to six meetings per, per year, and, and a lot of activities and programs that, that are going to be happening in, in the background. So we'll share those best practices, uh, learn new skills, and, and meet like-minded people. Great opportunity to be social within this group and, and meet those individuals. So. For, for more, uh, we have uh, obviously our, our website will have uh, more in-depth information about uh, about that vision. So check it out under the uh, the learn more there. So now let's jump into the roadmap of of this group. Uh, what we think uh, will will work for this group initially. So four to six meetings uh, per year. Uh, you know, quarterly probably is where we're going to head off on. Um, topics are going to be you know specified by 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 you guys, the, the, the members. So we'll be sending out surveys on a regular basis and, and asking your opinion. Based on your opinion, your results out of those opinions, then we'll develop that roadmap going forward in those meetings. Okay, there'll be something for everybody from, uh, from an end user all the way up to you know, developers uh, you know, and executives as, as, as well. So um, 
We'll have uh, member speakers. You know, we'll be talking about best practices. Uh, one of the more popular ones is the, uh, the reports and the dashboards. Uh, people seem to uh, really engage with, with that topic. So we have uh, great uh, presentations for that. User adoption tips and tricks. I know uh, in probably the next uh, two or so meetings, uh, I'm gonna present on Shaw's user adoption and how well we're doing now compared to how well we were doing when we first started out. And here's, here's my Shaw team over here. Uh, much better now, isn't it? Yeah, a yeah, lot of chatter activity. We have uh, executives in, uh, in the reports and the dashboards, and uh, it's, it's really getting a lot of traction. The live webinars. So these types of meetings uh, will be broadcast live. So if you can't make the meeting physically, but you can be there, you can, you can take in that meeting. Uh, or they'll also be recorded as well. So maybe you can't physically be here in, uh, in person or in time, but next, next Saturday, if you have time, you, you, can, you can watch that webinar. And of course, we'll help to our prizes. So if you have your business cards, I have a box in the back. Drop your business card into the, uh, into the box for, for the door prize. Now, we're not gonna draw this meeting, but we're gonna draw next meeting from the people that are in this meeting here. So it'll help encourage you guys to come to one meeting after another, okay? <laughs> so that's, that's gonna be our routine. So one of the first programs I wanna chat to you about is, is this mentorship. So Jason's actually gonna be responsible for, for this program under his program's title. Um, we're gonna you know, pair uh, junior people with senior people, okay? And you're gonna come up with uh, one to three goals that, that you might wanna learn from, uh, from a mentor. And, uh, and, and it'll, it'll last between one week to, to, to three months uh, for, for duration. So if you want to learn from other people, not just during these meetings that we're gonna have, but actively in the background, uh, take on a mentor. And, and a mentor can take on one or several people if, if they want to as well. Okay, and it's a, it's a way to give back. So th this whole thing is about sharing you know, knowledge. So if you wanna stand up here and talk um, about concepts, ideas, tips and tricks, great. Uh, or if you want to just um, maybe take on one or two people as a mentor, th that's a way for you guys to give back and is very valuable for that learning in the career of both yourself and, and also the person learning from you. So internships, um, same kind of concept, but uh, let's expose some students to uh, salesforce.com to allow them to, to gain experience and so that they can put that on their resume. Um, and then apply that experience uh, during maybe when they're studying for, for an exam or certification as well. Okay, and it's also a way to kick tires, right? So bring on somebody, see if they're a culture fit. Uh, we have a very unique culture over at Shaw and uh, you know, they have to fit in culturally for, for, our, for us to be hiring them. So it, it's a great, great way to, for us to you know, figure out if, they, if they're a good fit, not only you know, with uh, work experience wise, knowledge, but uh, how they fit in culturally. Hands-on training is another thing we want to do. You know, traveling is very expensive. I went on a course down to San Francisco. You know, it's a four thousand dollar course. You know, uh, fifteen hundred dollar airfare. You got food. You're away from the family. You know, things like that. So, and one one idea is here. Well, if there's an interest here, and it seems like there's a lot of administrators, well, why don't we have a 201 course brought here into this room for five days, and maybe fly up a person, a trainer. Or if there's uh, trainers here in Calgary that are Salesforce certified, let's utilize them. Uh, I, I know by going on that one course, I think I, I blew the budget for our training for the entire year, <laughs> right? So very expensive. However, we, we can turn that around. I could probably go on four courses here rather than take one course, which is the closest location is, is San Francisco. Now, I, I believe uh, Vancouver has a training facility as well. I heard that today, okay. Okay, so I thought it was either Toronto or San Francisco, but Vancouver as well. But again, it's, it's away from the office, away from your family, and, and it's very costly for hotels and, and air flights. Group discounts. So we might even be able to get uh, you know, half price off the, uh, the, the course as well. So that's an idea. I wanna skip over these uh, real quick, um, otherwise I'll be up here talking for an hour and a half, uh, just like the cloud forest there. 
Um, but we have certification cram sessions if you're, if you're wanting to take an exam um, and get certified. Well, let's get together some people who've already taken that exam and share their best practices and what they did to, to learn how to get certified. And I'll be admins from developers to y you name it. So whatever we can um, cram for, we, we can do that. And webinars, one hour sessions uh, based on a topic. Um, live over the internet, not necessarily in a room like this, but um, that's another concept in, in which we want to do. Okay, and our, our website. So, brand new, just uh, this is it. Um, spent a lot of time on it. Um, we want this to be the, the hub site, uh, the hub location where all the activity is concentrated out. So from here, you should be able to find anything to do with this, this group. You'll be able to find all of you know, our Twitter, our LinkedIn, our, our chatter group, uh, you name it. All the events and things like that are, are, in, the, are in the drop downs. Um, start here. Our contact information is there as well. So you'll be able to find us. So start there and expand out. So we also have uh, LinkedIn, so we got the uh, Calgary Salesforce user group, the official group, so we're sanctioned by the, the Community Force uh, initiative uh, within Salesforce. Um, we're members of, uh, of that organization that, that, that runs user groups uh, worldwide. Um, go into, um, into that group and join it, okay? Um, and that's a public forum for where we can chat. Uh, on the flip side, the chatter group down in the bottom there is a members only uh, private group where we can discuss uh, uh, user group initiatives, okay? And, you know, ask questions, tips and tricks, uh, you know, how do I do a formula on this field, things like that. So, um, Twitter, so we have um, SFDC YYC. Uh, uh, that won't be very active, it'll be more of an announcement. Um, uh, Twitter handler. So when's the next uh, meeting? You know things like that. Um, you can follow me, T. Periton at T. Periton. Jason has one as well that uh, you can find off the website under the contact us section. So if you want to follow him, I'll be more active on my Twitter handler for this group, and we'll throw in some paragliding stories as well. Camping, basketball with the kids, you know. Facebook, so um, go in there, like us. So, so that's really our responsibilities for, for, for this group, so fairly, uh, fairly straightforward. <coughs> you guys have some f responsibilities too. First and foremost is learn. Learn, learn, learn as much as you want, uh, as much as you can. Um, this is a, a form in which you, you can do all the learning you want, okay? With that, uh, with that knowledge that you do have, share. Share, share, share. Make sure you're sharing that knowledge as well. A user group is really powerful if we're both giving and taking for, uh, for, for knowledge, okay? And uh, thirdly here, network and build strong relationships. Uh, uh, very valu valuable um, for, for you. I know it's gonna be extremely valuable for me. I'm one in my organization, so that's what I wanted to do to, uh, to come forward with this, this group is, is, is to figure out who's here, who I can talk to, who I can bounce ideas off of, uh, and, you know, and just communicate, share, and, and network. So it, it's gonna be, it, it's gonna be good for everybody. Um, fourth here, which is possibly should be number one, is, is answer surveys, okay? Um, you guys are leading this group, okay? Where do you wanna go? It's all up to you, okay? We'll go where the masses want, want to take us, otherwise we're, we're leading this blind. Um, answer those surveys and uh, we'll, we'll take this bus and we'll drive it in the direction you want it to go. Okay, so uh, that's your responsibility. You get a survey, um, answer it for us uh, so we can take you down the road that you want to go. Okay, there is a new user survey. Um, it's on the website. If you sign up um, via me clicking you here, you'll get a link to that as well. Apologize, it's a little long. It's about four pages long, about five questions, 20 some odd questions. Apologize, but uh, um, answer those. It shouldn't take you much more than five minutes. Check boxes, radio buttons, things like that. There, there's, there's places where you can comment. You don't have to, but uh, so it shouldn't take you much uh, longer than five or so minutes to do that. We will survey before every um, meeting that we have, so and those are going to be much smaller, uh, more targeted. So, you know, two to three minutes uh, for, for those surveys, so it shouldn't take a lot of time out of your schedule. Okay. Another thing is RSVP for, for, for the meetings. 
okay? And if you RSP feed for the meetings and, and you can't make it, well, let us know and cancel. Um, just because we need the accurate numbers so we can better budget. You know, this is non-profit. We're, we're not here to make a, make a profit on it. So we're going to have partners. We don't know how much food to, to bring in. If we, bring, if we have 100 people who RSVP but only 20 show up, that, that, that's wasteful. So let's not be wasteful. There's going to be, you know, we, I don't know how many chairs and tables we have here, but if uh, we RSVP for 100 people, we set out tables and chairs for 100 people, 20 people show up. A lot of extra work. So. Um, um, if, uh, if you do RSVP, um, please cancel that RSVP. Let, it, let us know. Oh, sorry. I forget this every time. And there's the vice versa of that, too. And there's a vice versa as, uh, as, as well. Only mm -hmm. people sign up. And yes, and then we don't have enough food. We don't have enough chairs. People are standing and be a little upset. Just back on that uh, survey thing. So we use Timba Surveys, which is a free app exchange application uh, that we've integrated into our website. And that's the kind of detail that uh, we need to, uh, to learn and understand about uh, where this group wants to go. So it'll consolidate all that information together um, and help us focus of, of how we're going to lead this group uh, into the future and where you guys want us to take it. Oh yeah, what do you need to do next? Join the group, so if, you, if I zapped you, you're, you're joined, okay? Uh, <laughs> well, by the way, that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So we got you. <coughs> and, and you can't get out of it, sorry, you can't quit. Um, uh, yes, yeah, yes, you can. Uh, okay. If I didn't zap you, off the website here, there's a join here link. So click on that join here link. Uh, you'll be presented with uh, a, a few you know, fields to, to fill out. That will then populate our, our Salesforce uh, Community Force uh, database. And, and that is what's going to drive who we send newsletters to, who we uh, you know, invite to, to next meetings, and, and most importantly, uh, who we're going to send the surveys to. After you sign up there, you're going to get a, a members only chatter invite. So that's a manual process for me and the team um, to send those out. So those will be um, issued within the next couple days. Uh, um, and that's a place where members can, uh, can chat about uh, initiatives about this, uh, this group. So um, join the LinkedIn group and, and like us off the website as well. You'll see this. Um, little uh, toolbar here, um, you, you can uh, just click on the button and, uh, and away you go. What we're really trying to do is we're trying to drive the membership up. Uh, if we, the more people we have, uh, the, the, the larger pool of knowledge uh, we'll gain from. Um, so uh, the, let's, let's do our best to you know, share that information out and see how well we can grow this group so we, we can be better from each other. Okay? And again, the, uh, the, the follow us for Twitter, SFDC, and uh, at T. Periton. There's also a little recommend us down in the bottom of our, our on the right-hand side of the uh, website. So if you click on that, it'll spawn a, um, an email template, okay? You put in some people's names, uh, put in a little message, hey, you should take a look at this website. You'd be interested in, uh, in the content during this group. So we'll take care of the delivery of that. You can carbon copy yourself out of that uh, email message as well, and it'll deliver it to those people that uh, you want to notice our site okay, or our group. So this is your slide. I was getting through the groups. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so there's other... Canadian user groups, those don't look like surfboards, those look like really odd red things. But these are the two new user groups that I talked about earlier, the red surfboard. Um, I think some of the discussion topics that uh, Trevor was mentioning were, were really good. Um, Salesforce doesn't, we don't really get involved in the uh, leadership because it is a user group, but we are heavily involved in making you guys successful. So if you have things like you want to know about the releases, so we release three times a year, Tons of information um, we can present on that. Um, like I said before, bringing in people to talk about change management and governance, things like that. Um, those are some of the topics that have been really successful. Um, we just did that with Toronto. Um, we did Spring 13 and we talked about governance and change management. Um, um, and then uh, the other piece that I found worked really well at user groups is customer success stories. I love hearing these from you guys because you know, you've got the great story. What's working with you in your rollouts? What's not working? Um, where do you guys have questions or you've got a process and you're not sure how to roll that out? 
that's so helpful for everybody else to know because in my experience and working with all the customers that I have, there's similar questions that come up with all my customers. You know, they come to me and ask the same question. And so if you can start sharing those, well, how would I do this? Or I really want to do that. Or I've done this and it's really cool and this is how I did it. Those are where we're really going to start to see some um, some traction on, on this group and then gain some success stories. So um, can you, we, we view kind of the user groups as Canada. Um, so love to share topics and I'll work with Trevor to make sure that uh, we share best practices across those user groups. So you do work closely then? For me? Because again, you mentioned that you, you don't really work closely with groups, so you do work closely with groups. So, yeah, myself. so we don't get involved in like the day-to-day -day runnings of the group, so we have, it's an investment to make you guys successful, so we'll attend meetings with the uh, leaders to learn about what they're trying to set up, and if they need our help, um, we'll offer our time and, um, and talk about different topics, so. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, so you guys get, and you have the best logo too. Those other guys don't have one. <laughs> so Aaron, I have a question for you now. This is more so a kind of a, promotional tool for Salesforce. What do you guys do in terms of sponsoring the, the groups or helping the groups in terms of if, if, if money is involved in putting a room or a meeting or whatnot? Mm -hmm. So did everybody hear that? So we've, um, you know, same thing about saying if what, what Salesforce provides in terms of supporting the group. So I think besides our time um, and just coming and talking about different topics, there is a whole program that Salesforce runs <coughs> for the two user groups, the guys named Matt Brown that runs that. And so there is a small slush fund that, that Trevor and Jason have access to in order to host meetings, to um, you know, bring in drinks if they need to. It's a small slush fund, so it's gonna be more beer and wine and not more teas. But uh, you know, we do have some support um, for you know, a little bit of a slush fund for that. Really, that's, that's what we do. There's a whole new program rolling out for our user groups. Um, and there's uh, a Dreamforce, if you, if you go to Dreamforce or Cloudforce events like this one, um, there's, we'll always do something for the user group attendees. So there's a program around that, yeah. And it's changing, so there's a little bit more to come, but we can share that. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the business cards that uh, we recently got done up was paid for by the uh, by that slush fund. Yeah. Is the user group uh, using Salesforce to manage their uh, relationship with yeah. its members? Yeah, absolutely. And is the user group Salesforce linked in with the Salesforce partnership? I, is the LinkedIn um, is the user group group? Yeah, is the, is the Salesforce user versus Salesforce? Is it a standalone application for just Calgary? Or is there a link into yeah. the, uh, to the Salesforce publisher? Yeah, it's just, it, it's standalone. Yeah. But we, we, we actually take a lot of the information from the other groups and uh, repost it within our group. Uh, at least that's the, the plan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a, like a community that you guys are a member of. Community right? Force, yeah. Here. Yeah. Designed and configured um, on the Salesforce platform uh, specifically for, for memberships. How many people have been to Dreamforce here last year? Last year, this year? How, how many people are planning on going to Dreamforce this year? Okay. Y yeah, and I think you have until the end of this month uh, at a discount, so I think $799. So the ROI on that is phenomenal. I went there for the first time last year. Um, spent $700 plus hotel, things like that, and I got in about 20 to 25 sessions, uh, learned a lot. Um, lunches are, are paid for, no, not dinners or, or breakfasts, but um, they have uh, great entertainment as well. So, highly recommend going there. Great place uh, to meet uh, like-minded people as well. Yeah. And there's something for everybody. Anybody have any questions? Um, again, through that uh, new user survey, we put a, a number of uh, suggestions out there, uh, mornings, afternoons, late afternoons, or evenings, uh, Monday through to Sunday, which days you want, um, that's all in that survey as well. Um, it's, it's really looking like the, you know, currently of the about 12 or so surveys we have, between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock is um, and, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. That's okay. I told you I was going to go quick so we can get through this and start uh, the networking. So, okay, one last uh, issue on the, uh, the agenda here. 
So we're going to do a, a little project, a little challenge here. It's, uh, it's called the, uh, the, the Two Minute Networking. The goal is to find out who's here and, and why you're here, okay, and, uh, and to make connections. So um, how, how it's going to work here is you're going to turn to the closest person that you, that you don't know. So you guys go over there. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you have two minutes. And one of those minutes belongs to you. The other minute belongs to uh, the person you're talking to. Have your business card in hand. Uh, um, pass it out to, uh, to the person you're chatting to. What you want to do is you want to state your name, okay, where you work, or if you're, if you're at a school and attending a school, or you're employed or not employed, et cetera. And you want to state your role as it relates to, to Salesforce. Um, uh, state if, uh, state if, if, you're, if you're hiring somebody, like Shaw, we're, we're looking for an administrator um, within our organization to help us out on a contract basis. So uh, if there's anybody looking to be uh, an administrator within Shaw um, that could, could, could turn permanent in, in the new fiscal, then, uh, then chat with me. Um, state a fun fact about yourself. So, uh, an example here, I like jumping off mountains with a paragliders strapped to my back. Uh, you might be an avid golfer, you know, scuba diver, whatever it might be. So, that's the challenge. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope we will provide uh, immense value for you guys in the future via our meetings, via our programs that we have uh, all lined up, uh, and through the, the networking sessions that, uh, that we're going to have. So. This is what you're going to have to do. So everybody up, and, uh, and after we're done this, uh, outside for uh, some drinks and some munchies. <laughs> <laughs>